Recording. Well, hello, everybody. Right now, I'm leaving Durango, Colorado. We'll be stopping tonight in Golden, Colorado. We'll be going... Hello, everybody. I'm leaving Durango, Colorado. Headed to Golden, Colorado. That's where we'll be stopping for the night. We'll be going to the Dirty Dog Saloon. Supposed to be the number one biker bar in Colorado. This route's supposed to take all of us on the million dollar highway. I've heard about it, seen a little bit of it on YouTube, but never wrote it. We'll see how this Flatlander does. I've heard it's uh, very narrow. We've got extreme drop-offs and there are places with no guardrails. Hey, it sounds like a perfect ride for somebody with uh, a bad fear of heights. So hey, if I make it through this day without soiling my britches or having a heart attack, hey, I'll be doing good. Although I, I'm sure the scenery is great. And this is where I'd love to have a passenger because they could give you more view of the scenery because I have to concentrate on the road, so that will obviously limit how much I can look around at stuff. I hope the audio is good. I think I got all the mints closed today. And forgive me if I look at the phone a lot because without doing that, I'd be lost and we have to follow this route in order to be eligible for the Guinness Book of World Records. Which, you know, I'm I'm real doubtful about the record. The main reason being We're using the river app, and I don't know what the problem is, if it just can't handle over 140 people doing the same ride at the same time. We're, we're not riding in packs together, but we're still out there at the same basic time. Some of us are starting a little later and finishing a little later, but and you know I'm I'm an old man. This this all this electronic stuff is just over my head. But I will say I'm looking forward to today. I really like Colorado. I know I got a fear of heights, but I still love the mountains. It's a little chilly this morning, not bad, it's 52 degrees. But with my experience in the mountains is after the sun comes up, it doesn't take long to warm up. 
the high in Durango is supposed to be 80 degrees today. And you don't get the humidity in the uh, mountains. Of course, by the time it reaches the high here, I'll be long gone. Now, Florida and Georgia It was 101 for a high, and the humidity was high, so that was a hot ride. The second day was, the high was the same. It was just over 100 degrees. It's like, and that was Georgia to Eureka Springs, Arkansas, which, if you've never been to Arkansas, they have some really excellent roads to ride there. If you like twisties, they've got them, the pig trail. It's, I mean, it's got a lot of turns in it. And it's a really good ride. There's a lot of other ones in there. The one I'd like to ride, I didn't have time, is the Twisted Lady. Then I read there's, I can't remember the number of the highway, but it goes off of the pig trail. That it's supposed to be a real nice ride, and there, if I remember correctly, there's supposed to be a real good place to eat on that highway. And also, if you're ever in Eureka Springs, north of town, the Switchback Bar is an excellent place to go. The owners are real nice people. It's a husband and wife that own the place. And they're just good people. They they um, ride bikes, so where better to spend your money? They do have a campground there. We also went to uh, Legends Saloon in Eureka Springs, which was a nice place. Overall, I just enjoyed Arkansas and it is the honor one's hometown well not hometown he's a little ways away in Harrison it's his home stomping grounds you know backyard and if you ever get a chance to go there you should do it I met riding in the Ozarks there and River Bluff Baggers and Firecracker on two wheels. All nice people. River Bluff Baggers are out of Kansas. Real nice guys. If you haven't checked out their channel, you should go over there and subscribe. It's a really good channel. They play their own music with their videos. They go to interesting places. 
they put out quality content. Which, you know, hopefully I'll end up there. I've got so much to learn that it, it ain't even funny. Editing is the biggest thing. But regardless of the number of subscribers I have, as long as I enjoy making videos, I will do that. And if you have not yet hit the subscribe button and you're still listening to me ramble on, please do so. If you like it, hit the like button. And you never know what's going to come up on my channel next. It might be on the bike, it might be in the truck. I don't know. I just try to video what I feel is interesting. I like to video some of my rides so that I can go back and look at them. And so I can show my grandsons and I want to get them interested in motorcycles. I want to at least present them to them, you know, motorcycles to my grandsons. And then, you know, let them decide if they want to ride or not. I know my oldest grandson, he's seven, and I've taken him around town I live in a small town in Iowa, and he loves it so far, so. And my wife wants to buy a mini bike so they can all ride it when they come over to the house. Because it's one of them small towns where people ride their four-wheelers, golf carts, and all kinds of things like that around the town. It doesn't matter if they're street legal or not. on two wheels and see if they develop a liking for it. Well, I'm going to end this video. It's probably longer than it should be.